Hello friends, I am Ekta Sharma, Assistant Professor, Biyani Group of Colleges. Welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on for loops. This is a subtopic of C++. Now we have already discussed in the previous lectures about while loop, do while loop and for loop. Now today we will elaborate the for loop. Let us first see the syntax of for loop. Now this is a simple syntax, first of all you will write the keyword for, then you will place the parenthesis and then you will first initialize the variable. This is a simple example of initializing the variable where i equals to 0. Next you will separate this part with the semicolon and then you will specify the condition in which we, uh, in like we specify in the previous loops. This is a simple example of uh, speci uh, specifying the condition where i is less than or equals to 10 and this is the third part where you will put the increment or decrement portion. So for a simple example i plus plus or i minus minus. Now let us go uh, next you will put the curly braces and then you will write the body of the loop inside this for loop. Now let us understand through a program how we can write or use this for loop. Now, this is a simple program which uh, states write a program to print series of 1 to 5 using for loop. It means we need to print 1 to 5 using for loop. Now, the first we have initialized this i variable. It is an integer value. Then we have write this for loop. Then we will initialize i equals to 1. It means initial value of i is 1. Then we will write the condition. It means i should not be greater than Five. Then there is an increment part which state i plus plus. It means continuously it will increase i value by 1. Now inside the loop body we have stated see out i. It means this see out statement will print the value of i each time whenever it will come into the body of this loop. Now next is the get ch remaining. Now let us understand when the value of i will be 1. The loop will print 1. Then it will increment the i value will be 2 condition is true because 2 is less than or equals to 5 then it will print 2. Again when the value will be incremented the i value will be 3. It will condition will be true and it will print i for 3. It will continue till 5. When 5 will not be a more than 5 then condition will be false and this will come out here. It means on get ch. So it will terminate the loop because the condition is false. So we can say whenever the condition is false, it will terminate the loop and it will come out of the loop's body. So this is all for today. Now for more educational details and lectures, you can of course visit to our website that is www.gurukpo.com.